the left. This is actually a scenario. Someone is coming in. Am I correct? Okay. This is actually a scenario. What can or how do you interpret this one class? Okay. The first photo from the left. Let me ask. I want who wanted to volunteer. Melanie, you would you like to volunteer? Um, Next is Richley and uh, Grisel. Okay, one word for the first photo from the left. Inquiry. Okay, inquiry. Okay, thank you. Next, second photo from the left. Okay, whose name did I mention earlier? Or anybody who would like to volunteer in interpreting number two or the second picture from the left? What are the people doing? Hello? Farming, sir. Farming, thank you. What else? Another one. What else? Farming and? Ang gutom bala, sir. Nalipat ko sometimes in Farming. Okay, farming. Okay, farming. Okay, how about the third photo from the left? Okay, give me the two analysis. Let me call Richly Bernardino. Richly, are you there? Hello? Sorry. Okay, give us one analysis of the third photo from the left. So the innocent, no, no. ang may aras, ang balay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with a couple, how do you perceive that one? Mm. One word, one word. <laughs> I can describe sir ba? Come on, come on, come on. Anger. Okay, anger. Or ang angriness. Okay, thank you. Next one. Last, last interpretation. Come on, come on, come on. Misunderstanding. Huh? Understanding. Misunderstanding. Misunderstanding. Okay, misunderstanding. So several, several interpretations that we can have from this photo. Okay, misunderstanding of a couple due to certain circumstances as a couple. All right. So that is realism based on reality. All right. Next is combination of realistic. Okay. Okay, contemporary dance before class. Um, the the previous grade twelve two years. I think uh, batch 2019 and 20, I asked them to dance, okay? I asked them to dance in a different way, okay? But uh, we will know what is your final output, okay? So contemporary dance that we do have here, disco dancing and hip hop. Are you familiar with disco dancing? Yes or no? Yes, yes, very, sir. yes. yes sir. Okay, very, yes, very common. How about hip hop? Yes, sir. Yes, yes yeah. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What do you think is the most common, very common, disco dancing or hip hop? Hip hop. Hip hop. Okay. Who else? Who would say disco dancing? Or why do you say hip hop is the most common compared to disco dancing? Again, I need one who will volunteer. Who would like to volunteer? Why is it that um, hip hop is most common than disco dancing? Uh, let's ask next Eliza Humalon. Sir? Why do you think that um, hip hop, okay, let me ask you, which one is most common, hip hop or disco dancing? Hip hop, sir. Why do you hip -hop. think hip hop? What? Why do you think hip hop is the common 
the most common compared to disco dancing? Mm, because it's more arranged and organized than disco dancing, sir. Um, hip hop is kanang magamit siya in performance or for entertainment. Okay, but did disco dancing is or can also be used in performance? How did it differ? Disco dancing is ako, more of a freestyle, sir, and it can be done by every by everyone. I by okay. some people by choice lang. Okay, thank you so much, class. Well, you are correct. Um, disco dancing as for me, class, is somewhat like basic. Okay, and most of this, uh, most of the people who do dance this type of dance is or are like in some of the cities in the barangays okay but most likely in you know in the mountain areas or in the cities like say for example in the in the at the video cinco area are you familiar with video cinco where most of the drunkards are singing yes sir <laughs> yes in fact class one of my favorite uh activities before every friday when i was you know when i was still a kid or a, you know a child is this disco dancing okay every friday because my father was once a pro kagawad where he was tasked to fuel the you know fuel the batteries elect i mean electrical batteries to we call it malapgap it's really far because our place before class was in the top of the mountain, very isolated. I think that is 1990s to 2001. Okay, so when it's Friday evening, we used to have disco dancing where I and my siblings are usually fond of going to disco dancing. Why? Because of a few factors. Factor number one, because of the mocks, the candies, the mocks and the white rabbit, plus the you know, other types of menthol where it usually fell on the ground. So, mga hulog na na class, so kami ang tigulikta. Second, is we're fun of going to disco before, disco dancing, because there are some leftover bottles, such as, for example, Fighter One. Are you familiar with Fighter One? Fighter One, are you familiar? No. No, okay. sir. Richly, are you familiar with Fighter One? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. You're familiar with that, right? Okay. In fighter wine class, before it, we usually sold it or sell it. One bottle is equivalent to one peso. And one peso before is, you know, you can buy Marie already, Marie biscuit. Big Marie biscuit. Okay, so this good dancing. Now, going back to our topic, okay? Hip-hop dancing class is more organized as what one of your one of you have said earlier because it is like choreography. Uh, most of the people who are doing that are, they really spend time in practice. Plus, it's not national only, it's international, like hip hop, okay? And you are also correct that you have said earlier that it is more being performed in the school and some other institution, be it in secondary and uh, in some statues and colleges, all right? So it's more informal. In fact, BTS are fun. I mean, Korean, Korean, you know, Korean. The, Korean groups. Yeah. No, no, boy no. bands. Yeah, boy bands, BTS, uh, Blackpink, and, you know, all other Korean, Korean, how do you call this? Korean dancers, should I say? Should I use the word dancers? They're fun of hip hop. Okay. And the blood, the nigga the Nigerian, the black people, okay? They're also fond of hip-hop. All right, so you're familiar with that? Am I correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, okay. Zumba sometimes, but Zumba is quite different from hip-hop. It's real different, okay? Disco dancing, all right? This is very common. Ah, talking about disco dancing class, Um, before, um. It's really traditional because most of the ladies, say for example, ages 16 to 19, when you are still single, okay, during the stages class or ages, you have to, in our place, I'm talking in our place, you have to sit on a, on the long bench, okay, on the long bench. 
then the music when the music rings the the ones dancing the men who are dancing the married co- the married ones they will just each of them will go to the long bench and will pick you okay so kung nagapan sila sa imuha puniton kanila kag magsayo-sayo ka partner in a romantic way okay so before bisan o kung guapa ka ayo kagid class sexy dali ka ma punitan dali ka pilin partner pero kung uh, guapa guapa mahalin mang yapon okay why because most of most of the ones who are in the disco dancing class are people who are drunkard okay but of course when they dance to each other they are not drunk of course of course they are not they are in a conscious you know in in a good mindset okay so that's disco dancing uh, contemporary music um there are many here like say for example there are famous contemporary opm are you familiar with opm that's original filipino music singers and they are freddy aguilar are you familiar with freddy aguilar yes sir yes you are okay gary valenciano okay natutulog bang choose my kanu pa and sharon kunita so I'm really familiar with uh, Gary Valenciano, Freddy Aguilar, Colidisma, Sharon Kunita, and I believe you. I believe you do so. All right, Mike Hanapo. I'm not quite familiar of this person, but Freddy Aguilar. As for my time and for your time, and even this time class, the new generation, they are quite familiar with the songs of Freddy Aguilar. All right, Sharon Kunita and Gary V. All right, so that's it. Okay, check yourself. What other different contemporary art forms? What are these art forms practiced in the region? Okay, hip hop, okay, disco dancing, and many more. What or can you identify these art forms like contemporary visual and performance art? Of course, you can. Yes, we have discussed it already. This thing you can easily identify them. Okay, if you're just going to read our module class, you can identify them. The fine arts, visual arts, and Uh, the other one okay so challenge your stuff uh classify various parts you know how to classify it already class okay so what you're going to do here is example in fine art is it does or does the fine art can be can be found in number one two or three so you are what you're going to do here class is you're going to put number in each box so for example in fine art what is the answer is it number one two or three okay so is there any question on how to answer yes or no no there's sir none. there's none because it's very easy okay how about visual art is it number one two three performance art is it one two three okay you know what's the answer already okay and you have to answer of course as part of the checking of your understanding the four basic techniques in sculpture are Okay, and selection art comes from comes in different times, and these are so you have to write it here. Okay, okay. Apply large skin. My object, my art. So performance standard class, you have to present a form of integrated contemporary art based on the region of his, her, or his or her choice. For example, where are you located now? Where are we located? We are located in Western Visayas. Am I correct, class? Western Visayas. Anyway, if I am correct, if I am wrong, you may correct me, but I think we are in Western Visayas. Okay, instructions. Number one, search for any contemporary art in your region. Okay, either basket, etc. Explain the background of that art. Who pi- of that art? Example, who pioneered it? Who made it? Name of that art. Example, basket. Who pioneered basket in your region? Okay. Then number three, explain also how this type of contemporary art contributed a lot to your region. So for example, basket, this is one of the sources of, or this is one of the economic sources of the people in what is so for example, in Mansilingan, okay, in Negros, where you have to sell this in the market. Okay, so you are going to do that. All the data must be in a PowerPoint presentation. So when you say PowerPoint presentation class, it's the power of point. So the important points are being placed in the slide, in every slide. Make sure that, number one, 
you will not just download the PowerPoint without its data being edited. So if you're going to the um, if you're going to download class, you have to edit it. Make your own version. Okay. And each slide should contain four to five lines only. Each slide should contain so four to five lines only. Okay. To make it more visible and clearer. All right, so we are done. Any questions so far? Hello? Yes, sir. Any question or any question with the lessons? Okay, how about additional? Additional? No more. Any question with, the, uh, with, your, with your activities? By the way, class, I have been, um, thank you for your patience. I haven't uploaded it in iLearn, but I am going to upload it, okay? You notice uh, who are iLearners here? Okay, Jay, okay, Grishel, Jabez, okay? And I believe there are some of you. Thank you so much, class, for your patience. I'm still uploading it, okay? Don't worry. Okay, and Angelica. Okay, any question before we are going to end our class? Okay, who wants to let me ask Jewel Vincent Hardiniko to lead us in prayer? And before anything, class, anything, do not leave yet after our prayer. Okay, we'll do have a documentation. A Jewel left. Okay, who wants to volunteer praying? Come on, so that you can have your time. Hello. Okay, let's ask Windil Kalago to pray for us. Okay, let us pray. Most gracious, dear God, kind and loving Heavenly Father, thank you, dear Lord, for giving us the time again to meet. Thank you for um, <clears throat> protecting us and guiding us throughout our lesson. And as we part ways, dear Lord, and start another uh, lesson with our next teacher i hope and pray that god that you will continue to um, give us your heavenly knowledge and wisdom and i pray dear lord that you will continue to guide sir Lin in his next class and um, forgive us for the sins that we have committed in the loving name of jesus i pray amen amen thank you so much class do not leave yet huh do not leave yet okay so i am going to stop presenting and you are going to open your camera in seconds only, come on. Uh, Jillian, Windell, Jabez, and all of you, please open your camera. See your, allow me to see your beauties. Okay, uh, Melanie, and for others. Okay, thank you. Who else? Open your camera, please. All right, so let's take a photo, everyone. Ready, one, two. Another one, one, two, last one, one, two. Class, thank you so much for being with us this time. I pray that the Holy Spirit will guide you in your academic journey. You are now permitted to leave the group. Thank you, good sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, safe real. GN and safe real, you may now leave. Safe real and Ken, thank you so much for joining. You may now leave. Ken. Hey, Ken. You may now leave, Ken. Yeah. You may not leave. Thank you so much for joining. Okay. Thank, you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Paul. All right.